Hey guys, GH City here, back with another video. Today, I'm gonna to be teaching you how to complete the RX3 mini boss, Chancellor Dharma, despite not having completed this fight even once. To begin the fight, Dharma will have a little bit of a Facebook grant where he, he, he just kind of talks to himself and then he and then he just kind of just doesn't do anything and just <laughs> kind of vibes out for a while. So I don't know what that's all about. Basically, you've just got to wait for him to stop having a stroke before the fight begins. Now, if you decide to shoot him whilst he's having a stroke, he's going to decide to counter the entire group and inflict sickness on everybody and then proceed to spawn a wall of portals which will shoot 11 waves of knives. For this phase, you need to kind of know how to dodge left and right to get to the open space and if you start to fall behind in your dodging, you can then tank like maybe one or two knives to get some more ground ahead of you. This allows you to push forward and despite dropping your health can prevent you from getting pinned against the back wall, which will force you into certain death. This phase will occur later, however, it is a lot more chill in that you won't be sickened the entire time and can actually heal. So keep that in mind. The only reason this phase happened in the first place was because you decided it would be a sick idea to hit a bloke having a stroke with your sword. So if you don't shoot him whilst he's vibing, he skips this phase entirely and actually begins the fight. The first phase of this fight has two variations, which makes it both predictable, but in a kind of different way. It is always going to be a somewhat easy phase where he will spawn four green and four red portals. The first variant is the green variant, with the green as the primary portal. The four green portals will spread in a diamond around Dharma and create a purple silencing wall of shots that essentially divides the room into four sections. They will also periodically shoot green silences at regular angles that are pretty easy to dodge. The red portals will rotate around the outside of the room and they'll shoot damaging shots towards the center, which puts more pressure on the players. For the second variant or the red variant of this phase, all of the portals will rotate counterclockwise around the room. These green portals fire purple silencing shots vertically and green sickening shots diagonally, creating a diamond around Dharma. These portals will slowly move towards Dharma until almost reaching him and then they're going to move backwards towards the outside and then repeat until the next phase. When these portals move towards Dharma, it's, it's best to kind of stay away from that, you know? You don't really want to take extra sickening and silencing hits. The red portals also move inwards and outwards, but kind of at a different rate, doing shots with the pure intent of doing damage. With a good group, they are pretty easy to heal through though, and with a couple of puries, both variants of this phase are trivial. And I'll just take it from here, because I don't think you've even gotten past this part in the fight. Nah, 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 I was just getting warmed up, bro. Give me a second. After you complete this portal phase, you'll then be met with a rotation phase, also indicated by the main color portal. This phase in a small group can be quite difficult if you don't know what to look out for. Once you get the hang of things though, you will be far better off. Dharma will remain in the center of the room and begin to shoot tentacles around him, similar to the Marble Colossus survival phase. You must rotate clockwise the whole phase until he is pushed. Whilst rotating, you're going to have to dodge both high damaging spears and axes. The axes follow a wide arching pattern around the rotation area, and these spears shoot out at consistently dodgeable patterns. While the shots are complex in nature, explaining in depth here is not really that necessary because once you understand the shots, it's very easy to just do near damageless. After the group does enough damage, you will push Dharma into his next phase. This one is indicated by the portals rotating near Dharma that we saw from the first phase. If the primary color of the portal was red, then there's gonna be a large red portal in the middle of the room, which will fire a huge barrage of fireballs in all directions, whilst Dharma will begin circling the room, shooting gray shots that do a base 200 damage. But overall, the shots, they're not that overwhelming. If the phase enters the green variant, the red portals will stay on the outside, continuing their wall of shots. Dharma will spawn a green portal that slows and chases some of the nearest players, shooting a lot of sickening shots. Dharma will also wander around the inner room and just kind of shoot pure damage shots around. It is possible to run through the red portal shots similar to the sprite worlds without much risk and just essentially avoid all real risk entirely from this phase. 
After this, he will begin the knife wall phase that I described at the beginning of the video, but you know, without the sickening debuff this time. If you are with a very large group, try and split 50-50 as it will make it a lot easier to see the gaps in the walls. Or, you know, if they add player transparency, you'll be able to see, you know, you'll be able to actually play the game and not die every three seconds. I mean, <laughs> I mean it's fine, just split 50-50. As I said earlier, it is best just to weave left and right to the open space and walk forwards if you're in a bit of a pinch. The key is, you know, simply not eating more than four in a really short period of time. Once the 11 waves of knives are done, he's gonna repeat the sequence of the four phases I described until enough damage is done to push him to the second stage of the fight. Fight. Now that you have done the damage required to push him to the second stage of his fight, he will begin one of two shot patterns, one being substantially harder than the other. The easier of the two phases will be indicated by Dama saying, the room shall burn like a sun and with your flesh. For this phase, you want to stand at a 90 degree angle from the boss. He will shoot four green portals out at 45 degree angles, and if you're a healing class or a buffing class, it is really important to prioritize dodging the blue line looking shots that come out from these portals. The reason for this is because those blue line looking shots do pet stasis, and for group survivability and buffs, you want to make sure that you are able to spam those buffs and heals as much as possible, and dodging those pet stasises is going to be your number one priority. Now, if you haven't been able to catch on already, for all of these phases of these fights, you are going to be having to deal with red and green portals. So the red portals during this phase will be shooting out at the same 45 degree angles as the green portals, but will rather be moving inwards and outwards towards the outside of the room, back to the inside, back to the outside of the room, shooting yellow AOE shots, red fireballs, and targeting little yellow or orange spears at the nearest player. Whenever the red portals start to collapse in around Dama, it is best to, on a melee or a short range class, take a chill pill and back out, that way you can avoid taking a lot of the converging shots. Now, it's not a huge deal, especially if you have a really good group, as I said, it is super easy to just group tank and heal through if you do have a good group. And now for the harder phase. This phase is, as I said, probably one of the harder phases to do with a relatively weak group, and can easily wipe half the players if no good Puries are around. So, let's get into it. At the beginning of this phase, Chancellor Dama will say, A miasma of death and disease follows in my wake. This phase is commonly referred to as Sick and Silence phase, and Dama will spawn four walls of green portals at 45 degree angles, which will start rotating around the room counterclockwise. This phase is extremely hard because every portal targets the nearest player firing a green, sickening arrow that moves very slowly. These sickened shots can be period, but without periods, this phase is a marathon. Oh, something else I hadn't mentioned yet. The gray shurikens? Yeah, they silence. So this phase has both sicken and silence. It is ridiculous. If you're running this with a relatively well-organized group, it'll actually be relatively okay and not too sketchy as long as you have good periods, but without good periods is when the actual skill and knowledge of this phase comes in handy. In order to actually push Dama out of this phase, you have to do a certain amount of damage, meaning that you can't just rotate endlessly and treat it like a survival phase. No, you actually have to push in and do damage. And I will say, dodging these sickened shots are relatively easier closer to Dama, but you have to keep in mind, if you get sickened, well, then you can't heal. If you get silenced, there's no way for a group to peery away the heals. So it is a big balance of having the priest dodge all of the silences and everyone else dodging as much sicken as they can in case the priest can't keep it up. If for some reason you are doing this in a small group and you don't have the periods to constantly heal you, it is best to rotate counterclockwise with the portals and the openings and slowly weave your way through the green sickened shots. It's okay to tank one from time to time, but here's the thing, if you tank multiple and get chain sickened, you're bound to die eventually. Now that you've completed one of the hardest phases in the whole dungeon, you then get to push Dama to his final phase. And this one is no joke either, so let's hop right in. To begin this phase, Dama will slowly start to rotate around the room, shooting out both red and green portals if you couldn't have expected that color combination already. Now, the thing to look out for during this phase is the green portals shoot out both sicken and silencing shots, similar to the previous phase we just went over. So, make it your top priority to dodge those greens, followed by the blues. 
the red portals shoot out the same red fiery spears and the fireballs that they've been shooting out all the fight, but are still not too big of a threat because they're purely damage based and with a good enough pet or good enough heals, you'll be fine to tank those reds as long as you don't sit on a portal. Speaking of sitting on a portal, if you don't have player transparency turned on or it's not released yet, make sure not to sit on one of these portals because these portals can and will insta-pop you and have done so many times. Another thing to note about this phase is in the corner of the rooms there are walls of knives and these walls of knives do a lot of damage really fast so if you feel that you're getting pushed back towards that corner of the room then make sure you try and work your way back towards the middle and not get pinched up against that wall. If you do step back into the crossing knives, just Nexus. They do too much damage too fast, and it's not worth a character slot. To actually do damage to Dama this phase, you really just kind of need to not be greedy and push in whenever you can do damage. I know there's a lot of shots everywhere, and it's kind of tedious to dodge them all. Just slowly work your way in as you see openings, get some shots in, and then back up. Or if you're a range class, which is honestly preferred for this fight, then just pew 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 from like 8 tiles away. And once you've done enough damage, then he's dead. Kaboom! You did it! Congratulations! That's the end of the video, and I just wanted to say a huge thank you to GHZD for helping out on this video so much. It was honestly surreal to have him helping out on this video, and I couldn't be more happy with the result. Thank you so much for watching this far. If you want to say hi to GHZD in the comments, I'm sure he'll stop by once or twice to see what you guys have to say. And if you haven't subscribed already and you're looking forward to more Oryx 3 related guides, then go ahead and drop us up. That's all from me. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. After this, he'll begin the knife wall phase as I described at the beginning of the video, but instead this won't have the sickening debuff, so you'll be pretty chill. That's a lie. It sucks. I have died so many times to this phase. You have actually no idea. <laughs> Oh god, I'm gonna do That's not even in the script. Okay, so I'll, I'll cut, cut that out. <laughs> I'm not gonna conclude that. The key is simple, not to eat more than four in a really short period of time. Ideally, you would just not hit any projectiles ever and then you would live forever. I'm why do I keep going off? Why is this, pa why am I going so off track on this paragraph? What is going on? Okay, let's just read.